Hello there, I'm Manu and I'm designing for Dress My Craft today. Welcome to our channel and before we start with the actual video, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to never miss an update from Dress My Craft. So today we will be making up this lovely layout and I will be using the Be Mine paper collection. So in this layout I have used a lot of uh, dress my craft supplies like the dies, I have the motive sheets and I also have used the punches. All the products used have been mentioned in the description box below so if you like anything you can straight away go ahead to the link to purchase them. So I would be using the Be Mine paper collection from Dress My Craft and I would be first choosing out the papers that I would require for my layout. This paper collection is all about, you know, it gives you a very valentine feel and this project, this um, paper pack would be perfect for using in your valentine's projects. So let's choose the papers first. So I have picked up a dark colored uh, paper for the layout and uh, the lighter shades for the top portion of it. Uh, I am now doing the first step in the project and tearing off the papers that I want to uh, lay on my project. The idea behind here is that I want to do a lot of layering with the paper packs itself and uh, see how the layering goes so I would be uh, tearing up bits and pieces in the 12 by 12 uh, size only to make the front of my layout so if you see now that in the polkas and the heart pattern paper that I picked up I am adding a little floral touch over there with uh, picking up pattern paper that had a few flowers so this would add another focal point in my project another a very vintagey touch and the grandy touch that I like to use in my project is distressing the edges of my tone pattern paper so um, you can see the difference when you do it yourself that when you place the non distressed pattern paper as compared to the ones where you have distressed the edges I am using the um, vintage photo collection uh, the vintage photo distressing by Ranger and uh, you will definitely see a very you know subtle effect when you do uh, the distressing on the pattern papers and uh, this adds a very uh, uniform look and it really gives a very nice feel to so now I am choosing the uh, other elements for the project and I think that this couple would look very nice on the project along with a few flowers and the Eiffel Tower. I also want a little uh, foliage around my template so I would be cutting up this uh, flower cluster and I would also be uh, you know, picking up two 6x4 photo mats from this uh, striped paper and the paper beneath that is the grey color paper so uh, these two 6x4 elements would act as my placemats to be placed around uh, my layout and also uh, the couple and the Eiffel Tower would be the focal points around these I also think that a little uh, punch would add added interest to the project and I would be using the circle chain water punch and punch a little uh, paper pa uh, pattern paper to be placed up somewhere in my uh, layout I'm not sure where I would be placing it up right now because uh, I would see how well the embellishment goes and everything and then I would be placing but I want this ready so that whenever I will put it to use I have it ready with me so now I will start uh, with the placement of the elements on my 
layout I'm not sure how will I be placing all the elements but uh, a little mixing and matching and see what goes where will really help so if you are a beginner uh, what you can do is while you are trying to place your objects you don't need to glue them down uh, just place your various objects here and there on the project and see what goes or what goes very well at what place you can also place a little twines or some satin ribbons beneath your focal elements this gives a really lovely texture and also um, a little stenciling would add to an added interest it would be an added interest to your project i always try to use the double sided the foam tape or i use uh, some cardboard beneath my focal elements to uh, you know make it a little level up with the the base uh, of my project my apologies this is taking a little extra time because my glue gun is giving me a little problem today and the the glue is not coming out very properly so i'll have i know i have to hold it with both my hands and press it down so uh, i am now placing another floral cluster at the top of the photo mats that i want So once I'm satisfied with the base structure, I'm now pulling out more embellishments. These die cuts, um, I'm sorry, these are cut from the motif sheets. These motifs, what I normally do is, what I prefer doing is that I cut all the motifs from the motif sheets and keep it in a paper bag. So I don't have to cut it at the last minute and sometimes I really don't want to work. So this is what I do. I go ahead and cut all the fussy cut all the motifs from the motif sheet and keep them handy so this way they are available whenever I want to use them so now I would be placing all my motifs um, around my base <coughs> photo structure and uh, let's see how it goes about
So uh, a little tip here that when you want to start making a mixed media layout, uh, try to imagine a little final product that you would want to achieve in your project because mixed media is really very really overwhelming and uh, there is no definite pattern you know where to start how to start but the um, focal point or you know the end point here is you know you should know where to end your project so uh, you should always keep in mind as to when you want to stop because there are a lot of elements and you can keep on adding and adding and adding on your elements and layouts and um, I'm sorry not the layouts but the motive sheets uh, you can add a lot of colors you can add a lot of you no know, embellishments but the key here lies in the fact that you should know where to put an end put a stop to your mixed media project and that you know that your mixed media project looks nice now so this is the point where should we uh, stop it now another uh, element that I really love to incorporate in my project is the chipboards or the you know the chipboard elements and this hexagonal shape is from a brand called Mudra and I really love their chips app and I make it a point to incorporate these uh, into my project for uh, they are very nice and the chips app really enhances your project and give, gives it a very uh, you know different kind of feel and look my projects can never go without a few flowers so here I am adding a few prima flowers and I will also be adding a few rose buds by dress my craft the pink to the two smaller rose buds that you see over there they are from dress my craft and I really 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 love them so right now I think my project is a very good looking with all the embellishments so I am now adding the finishing touches I am adding um, no stamped I'm stamping uh, a little quote which says you this love story means the world to me or something like that this is from a brand called Technique Tuesday and uh, a little stamping here and there really captures the uh, whole essence of your project and this really alleviates your project to another level now generally when I add uh, a little stamping to my layouts I prefer doing it with a lot of grungy lines or something but this uh, quotation this story means a lot to me I think goes very well with the whole essence of the layout that is the valentine themes that I have chosen for the project and hence I have picked up this uh, stamp to, to be the focal point for the stamping over here. So I am now using um, a little lengthies powder uh, to give a little color to my project and I am spraying it with the water so that the color just reacts and this is a little pinkish shade color and uh, I really love this color for it gives a very subtle effect to your project. It is not very loud, it is not very... Uh, low in 
showing off but I think this shade that I have is a perfect one that I have chosen I had picked up three dyes to go along with this project one was the um, the alphabet dyes that dress my craft had released a set of 26 dyes from A to Z I have cut that in the uh, the B mine words I also have this tag dye from dress my craft and the I love you dye so I had all of these three dyes but I was not very sure which one to use so I am over here seeing and I will be placing all the three dyes to see which one suits the best for my project So I think I, the I love you dye suits a little more because I liked it for uh, its cursiveness and you know the continuation that this particular dye has. I think it would really make a great dye for all your Valentine's themes project. So it's time for the final um, embellishment uh, to give it a little nicer lip and feel. I'm using the soft gloss gel and I would be adhering the, the yellow sunshine beads, uh, the yellow sunshine sequence and also the white pearl beads uh, onto my project. The last step I like to do for my project is adding a little white splatter. Uh, I am using the white acrylic color and creating a little splatter all across my layout. Uh, the splatter creates a lot of interest and it really combines, it really you know uh, gives you a perception that your layout is complete and it is uniform all over. So in this project I have used the white and I will also be using the Distress Black Stain to give a little black splatter all across my layout. I hope you like my project and I'm sure you would pick up one or two tips and would try out a project of your own. So do leave me a comment on how you liked it, the video process and everything and I would get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.